Hello YouTube, I'm back again. I'm gonna do a leopard gecko breeding update for April slash May, it's almost May, um, 2015 like breeding update and new additions or new leopard gecko additions anyway. So first we'll start with the old stuff right here. My male hypo snake guy or eclipse, whatever you wanna call it, possible hat raptor. He's for sale. Um, I'm gonna go seventy dollars plus shipping. So yeah, it's not. Um, up here is my female ember, not for sale. Not gonna breed her yet. Very soon though. She has snake eyes in one eye. Her, I have more videos on her. Here is my one of my new additions, my male super. Albino or Super Snow Albino. He hasn't been breeding for me yet, which I'm kind of disappointed at him, so he better start breeding. But there's him, he's really gorgeous. Solid black eyes or reddish black eyes. Yeah, I got him at the Minnesota Reptile Show this weekend. So I have two others. Another new addition, guys, is female Tremper Enigma from Fire Nice Geckos. Minnesota Reptile Show, I got her too. So, she's almost ready to breed. I'll probably breed her to my male, Super Snow, in, or Super Snow Albino. So there's her, she's pretty. Next one up is my favorite, probably one of my favorite pickup, female Max Snow Raptor from Fire and Ice Geckos too. She's gorgeous, she's huge. She's probably one of my biggest geckos too. Just look at those colors. Uh, the, it's not showing up on the camera. Those oranges on the head, though, just pop. So she'll be breeding to the Super Snow Albino. Hoping to get some Super Snow Albinos het for raptors. And then breed the babies back together to get some Super Raptors. So, um, Here's um, my male Patternless. So let's get him. My male Patternless. He's... Sam says nothing's really changed with him, but he has eggs and, or babies from him in the incubator. I'll show you the females that he bred to. And these females down here, they should be laying, I'm gonna pull them out so you can get better light, guys. Um, here, I'm gonna sit you guys down for a second. So here's their breeding group. Took the male out once. Oh, there go. It's a little dirty. I'm just leaving it like that because they're still laying eggs. So let's see. Female Max Snow is in the shed, but I have a high yellow and a Max Snow. Here's my female high yellow. She laid eggs for me probably a week ago. Her eggs lo are looking infertile. I'll show you those in a second. Her back. She'll, she looks like she'll be dropping another clutch semi soon. And then here, here's the egg box. Female Max Snow, freshly out of shed. So we'll pick up her nice, boldish. Okay. She dropped eggs for me. Her eggs are looking fertile. She was bred to the patternless, both these girls were. So I'm hoping from her to get some pattern or het for patternless Max Snows to breed. But yeah, just them. And then, ooh, the light's gonna be bad over here, guys. Here, let me set you guys down for a second so I can um, plug a light in. So. Yeah. Um, over here then, sorry for the little bright. Well, this is my ink bear I'm using right now, but at a local like gar garbage thing, I got this free wine cooler. Guys, it's pretty big. I'm gonna turn that into my other incubator. So this will be my female incubator, that'll be my male incubator. So, yeah, I can't wait to sneak heat man, I'm assuming for this. So, um, I'm gonna set you guys down again. I'm really sorry. I keep doing this, but, I don't want to like drop anything, you know what I mean guys. 
So right now I have four eggs in the incubator. Incubator. Temperatures at about 182. Um, there's that, about 80-ish. It's dropping though, but these two eggs are from the female max snow. They're looking fertile, no dense. These two are from the high yellow female. They don't look as good, but they're not molding. Just this one's really dented. This one's not as bad, but yeah, I'm hoping her max snow heifer pattern this is from this. So yeah, guys. So I think I'm gonna leave you guys now. Comment if you want to guys see like, um, tell me if you guys want to see more about these racks, just these cheap things, but I can talk a little bit about those, but yeah guys, um, I'm gonna do another video shortly, probably within this week, on my reptile, like all my stuff in my room. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, keep commenting and liking and watching. I almost hit 200 views on one video, which I'm proud of. Five subs, I can do better. Only like two likes, but guys help me along please. Thanks for watching guys, and have a good day, and keep on breeding.